Alright you guys, this video goes over some shortcuts that you guys might find helpful when memorizing the unit circle. Um, I actually just drew the circle myself and you guys are welcome to do the same. I just took something round and some markers and a ruler and uh, traced it. Or if you don't like to draw, you guys are if you guys can print something up from online, however you guys want to do it. There are three parts to memorizing the unit circle. Degrees, radians, and x coordinates. Let's take a look at degrees first. Okay? The blue lines are the axes. A circle goes from 0 to 360 degrees. Halfway would be 180. Halfway in between 0 and 180, we have 90. Halfway between 180 and 360, we have oops, 270. Okay. If you guys look at just the pink lines and the blue lines, they go every 30 degrees. So 0 plus 30 is 30. 30 plus 30 is 60. Whoops. 60 plus 30 is 90. 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, 360. Okay, so the pink lines and blue lines, they go by 30s. The green lines and the blue lines go by 45s. So 0 plus 45 is 45. 45 plus 45 is 90. Plus 45 is 135. Plus 45 is 180. 225, 270, 315, 360. Okay? So degrees, 30s and 45s. All right. When looking at radians, if you can memorize the first quadrant and you can memorize the pattern, you'll have the whole circle. The first quadrant goes pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. And actually before I go any farther, let me do let me do the uh, the axes first. The unit circle goes from 0 to 2 pi. Halfway between 0 and 2 pi is pi. Halfway between that is pi over 2. Halfway between pi and 2 pi is 1 and a half pi or 3 pi over 2. Okay, so pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. In every other quadrant, the denominators just repeat themselves. So over here I'm going to have 3, 4, and 6. Over here, I'm going to have 6, 4, and 3. And then 3, 4, and 6 again. Okay? In this quadrant, you're going to subtract 1. Okay? So whatever the denominator is, just subtract 1. 3 minus 1 is 2, so the numerator is 2 pi. You have 2 pi over 3. 4 minus 1 is 3, so I've got 3 pi over 4. 6 minus 1 is 5, so I've got 5 pi over 6. Okay? In this quadrant, you're going to add 1. Okay? So whatever the denominator is, so if the denominator is 6, I've got 7 pi. For 4, I've got 5 pi. For 3, I've got 4 pi. So, subtract 1, add 1. And over here, you're going to go by primes. So, the next prime after 3 is 5. The next prime after 5 is 7. 
You would think the next one is 9, but 9 isn't actually prime. The next prime after 7 is 11. So I've got 5 pi over 3, 7 pi over 4, 11 pi over 6. Okay? So, once again, if you can memorize just the first quadrant and then memorize the pattern, you have the radians for the whole circle. All right, x, y coordinates. With the x, y coordinates, once again, if you can just memorize the first quadrant, you're going to have the whole rest of the unit circle. Okay? First of all, all the denominators are 2. And once again, I forgot, I meant to do the uh, axes first. So, over here, this point is 1, 0. This point is 0, 1. This point is negative 1, 0. And this is 0, negative 1. W the way that I like to remember the axes, if you imagine a coordinate plane. I'll just draw a little one over here. You imagine a, quarter, uh, a coordinate plane and you have a circle of radius 1. This point here, x would be 1, y would be 0. So this point would be 0, 1. This point here, x would be 0, y would be 1. So the point would be 0, 1. Over here, you would have negative 1, 0. And over here, you would have 0, negative 1. And it so happens that these points are the same as, as the axes up here. Okay? Alright, so once again, first quadrant, all the denominators are 2. And from here, from here you're just going to count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then take the square roots of all the numerators. The ones you don't really have to take the square root because the square root of 1 is just 1. Okay. Another way you could remember it, there's a tr there's a finger trick. Sorry, I have some marker on my fingers. If you look at your hand, and let's say my thumb was this axis, my pinky is this axis here. Let's say I could not remember this axis. Put that finger down. I have a one and I have a three. One, three. Or let's say I couldn't remember this axis. I put that finger down. 2, 2, 2, 2. Or, if I couldn't remember this axis, put that finger down. 3, 1, 3, 1. So that's another little trick you could use to memorize the first quadrant. Okay, so, over here, these numbers pretty much just repeat themselves over and over and over again. I've got 1 over 2, root 3 over 2, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2, 1 over 2. The only difference is, if you think about it, in this quadrant, in this quadrant, uh, x is positive and y is positive. In this quadrant, x is negative but y remains positive. So because x is negative, you're just going to make all your x's negative. But keep your y's positive. And then in this quadrant, everything repeats itself again. Root 3 over 2, 1 over 2, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, um, 1 over 2, root 3 over 2. But in this quadrant, both x and y are negative, so everything's negative. And then the same thing over here. We've got 1 over 2, root 3 over 2, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, um, root 3 over 2, 1 over 2. And over here, x is positive and y is negative. So, just make all the y's negative. And that is the whole unit circle. Okay? Good luck, you guys.